G'day and welcome back to skype for badmincom So with Yoav Barzalay dropping a whole bunch of articles recently on Surface Hub uh, for the new Surface Hub whiteboard and Microsoft whiteboard for Windows 10, as well as articles on how to get uh, the new Teams app working on Surface Hub, I figured I'd drop an article or a video more as precise that I've been sitting on for a little while. Uh, we've got a, as you've probably seen in the title, how to build your own Surface Hub lab. Now, in this no way condones piracy or anything like that, this is for someone who actually already owns a Surface Hub and is just looking to run one in their own Hyper-V environment. Uh, this is going from a clean factory defaulted device. If you were to um, uh, if you were to image a device that's already been running for quite some time, it can be done. You just need to export the um, BitLocker key off the device first. So plug a USB key in, export the BitLocker key, and uh, go from there. When you go to mount the disk, it'll just ask you for the BitLocker key. But uh, other than that, we'll go through quickly pulling the drive out, imaging it, booting it up in Hyper-V. Uh, if you've got any questions, drop them down below and we'll come back to you at the end. Thanks. Okay, onto the guide. First things first, if you're using a pre-built machine, you're going to want to plug a USB key in and export the crypto locker key. It's pretty simple, it's under the settings just here. Next thing you're going to do is to shut your Surface Hub down, wait for it to turn orange, just like here, and then we're going to turn it off at the wall. Now on the back of your Surface Hub you'll find a little flap like this. If you lift it up there's a little tab, inside you'll find a, an old Xbox 360 hard drive caddy. This is Pull it out, just pull on the lever and it comes out, remove the hard drive and place it into your favourite machine, in my case this is my desktop. We're just going to image it from here. You could use a USB uh, USB adapter, but that'll I, I attach it direct. On your PC, open up Disk Management and just verify that you've actually got the drive attached. You'll see it as a 128 gig SSD with a partition of Windows. Make sure you note down what the device is as well. So in this case, it was Disk 3. In Hyper-V, go to New Hard Disk. Click on next. Make sure you check it, select VHDX. We're going to select dynamically expanding because this is a lab. And we'll name this accordingly. Surface Hub Lab. Cool. Click on next. And the first thing it's going to ask is to create a new disk. In this case we're going to copy the contents of a specified physical disk. Noting that we're using disk 3. So we select physical drive 3. We'll just speed this up a bit because it's really slow. It took about 12 minutes to image on my 6700K. We shorten this down to relatively quickly for you guys. Okay, once that's done, it's just going to disappear. It's not going to pop up with a I'm done or anything. Head over to new virtual machine. Click on next. Name the new virtual machine what you like. In my case, it's going to be Surface Hub Lab. Next, make sure it's a generation two machine. So the Surface Hub will try and enable secure boot and bit, lo bit locker. So it does need that. It needs a minimum of four gig of RAM to start. I enable dynamic memory because I'm a glutton for punishment. Connect it to your lab network if you want. Otherwise, keep it isolated. Now, instead of letting it pick a new virtual hard disk, point to your old virtual hard disk and click on next. Click finish. Let go and add everything for you, and then we'll boot it up. Now the first time it boots from this, this is, in my case, a factory defaulted unit. Um, it was actually re-imaged minutes before I, I uh, imaged it, so it is going to take a little while to boot. You'll see it's stuck here with the Hyper-V logo for a little while. This is literally, other than the file copy before, going to be the longest part of the process. While we're waiting for this to update, we should recommend going and checking out Approaching Nirvana. They provide all the background music for this. And while I'm waiting for this, let's have a quick look. You'll see how the uh, Surface Hub is configured. One of the things we'll have to disable uh, when we get here is enhanced mode, but you'll see that this is enabled secure boot. Okay, it will store the crypto locker key. 
just be aware that you won't be able to migrate this machine from machine to machine because of that. Go through your, set it, your setup of your surface up as you would normally. Keep in mind that it's going to be stuck in a 4x3 aspect ratio. We can't get it into the 16x9 uh, aspect ratio. If you do let um, Hyper-V enable a enhanced desktop session, it'll try and RDP into the box, which uh, the Surface Hub, which the first thing it'll do is just say, you're not allowed to RDP into it and it'll reboot. So uh, when it does ask you, which it doesn't in this video, uh, if you want to go to an enhanced session, just say no. Um, and if you do accidentally say yes, you can change the settings to, to disable those enhanced settings. Once that's done, just go and set it up as a lab device uh, with your normal meeting room details. You can then play with it to your heart's content. So once again, I will point out this is definitely not a, a way to pirate the device or anything. It's purely if you want a, a lab and play with it. Once you're done, safely remove your hard drive, so either shut down or safely detach the hard drive in Windows. Pop it back in that cover, stick it in your Surface Hub. Close the flap, turn everything back on. Surface Hub should start by itself. You can see it turns on. We get the boot up screen and we're exactly where we were. So there you have it, a really simple way to build yourself a nice Surface Hub lab to play with the latest features. The new whiteboard, the new Teams app, and make sure that you get everything right without affecting your production gear. Another trick that I do use, recommended by Yoav, is uh, switching hard drives. Um, I've got a few here in the office, and uh, if I want to jump to an Insider build, and I've got to know I've got a sales thing tomorrow, I can pop my Insider build hard drive in, run the tests that I need to run, and switch back. You just need to image it using Yoav's tool, which I've linked down below. Anyway, any questions, comments, leave them down. Um, otherwise, catch up with me on Twitter or over at scottforbeadmin.com. Thanks. <laughs>